This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm speaking to Gil Min from Agilent Technologies and he's going to tell us about their new 5600 LS AFM. So this is the Agilent 5600 LS, uh, large stage AFM. It comes enclosed in an uh, acoustic chamber. Uh, if we look inside we can see uh, this granite gantry uh, that includes a piezo-actuated stage, an XY. Uh, actually also includes our multi-purpose technology, uh, scanner technology, which is a tip-based scanning AFM. Uh, also included is an integrated CCD camera and illumination source. So everything is uh, controlled by the software. Uh, the stage is a high precision stage, um, about 400 nanometers or below uh, repeatability, accuracy, uh, optically encoded so we can address uh, full 200 millimeter uh, sample size. So we can uh, address the entire wafer size and with repositioning we can actually address uh, 300 millimeter uh, wafers as well. Uh, so we can automate the stage for easy sample exchange. Um, and so right now I will take out the scanner assembly. Part of our modular design is uh, interchangeability. So this scanner is common to all of our AFM platforms. This is used within our 5500 and 5400 platform. Um, and cantilever is mounted underneath. This is a tip scanner in X, Y, and Z. And you can see our X, Y positioning stage here, uh, piezo actuated. Uh, there is a vacuum chuck option to mount uh, vacuum seals for, um, for semiconductor wafers. Here I have uh, five different samples mounted position, uh, just random position orientation on this X, Y stage. And we can actually script the stage, a program stage to address uh, each area after taking an image. So we can start the image here, uh, after it's completed taking uh, one or two scans, however, whatever we define, uh, the stage will move to the next sample, re-engage the surface, and so on and so on. So you can kind of automate uh, a sampling or inspection of uh, large samples. So let me, this is the sample stage, uh, the scanner again. Uh, integrated laser diode and photo detector inside the scanner housing. Uh, this simply mounts into the AFM through a C-clamp here, so it's toolless insertion. And then you have to connect your high voltage and signal lines, like so. Try not to cross the uh, plugs like I did. <laughs> they are color-coded for ease of use, so I'm just colorblind. All right. So the stage itself, uh, within the software I mentioned, is uh, all software controlled. So within here, this is a view of the CCD camera. So if we home the stage, here you can see our probe. And the XY stage is actually moving the stage back to the zero, zero center position. To control the stage, we can either control it through an XY joystick, like so, within the software. So we can move the stage in a 2D direction through the optical registration. We can also control the focal plane uh, using uh, integrated software here, so we can change the focal length if we want to zoom in on the tip or focus a higher above the tip. We also have an option to optically uh, move the tip, so for example, if there's a feature in the image that I'd like to go to, I can simply click on it in the image and the tip, the XY stage will move it underneath the tip. And then the other way for moving the XY stage is through a uh, stage control interface. So here, what I've marked here are actually four positions along the stage where our sample's mounted. Uh, these coordinates you can actually input yourself, uh, and then this is for scripting. Right now it's at the center center position, but after executing a script, it will actually move to these positions in an order you specify. Uh, example here, we have an AFM image, uh, topography phase and uh, amplitude obtained from um, an AC dynamic mode uh, of CellGuard, which is a polymer film. And here we can see the fibril structures and the lamella uh, structures uh, between the fibrils. All right, Gil, thanks very much for your demonstration and introducing us to the 5600 LSAFM. Thank you.